another day another video you all won't believe what finally came in the mail it's something that i've been waiting for for almost a week now um i ordered this about the same time i ordered my exhaust and it still came sooner than i had expected but this is what we were waiting on the mail for my front lip for my um, toyota corolla so that's what we're going to be working on today we kind of already took it out of the box and stuff so then right now we're just kind of like um doing fitment to see how it fits and stuff and i'll leave a little review at the end of this video to show you guys like what i think of it and then i will link it down below where i bought it from also so yeah let's get started on that so we just got the car up on the rhino ramp and we are just giving it a good clean a little polish before we stick this on and yeah after we clean it off we're probably gonna put this tape on there just to kind of like measure out everything so everything will go exactly in place and after that we're just gonna screw everything on and then we're also gonna be using 3m 3m tape just so everything you know will stay on there and stick on uh well after looking under the car we realized we probably won't even be needing to drill any holes because where the stuff will be going there's already screws um in, in under the car so we're just gonna unscrew it and then align the front lip and then re-screw everything back on which is a good thing because i was kind of scared to drill holes in my car in the first place but this was something that i would do for that if you know need be but yeah so we won't be like drilling any extra holes or anything but we'll see how it goes since we're just starting the process So this is the screw that I just finished unscrewing. This is going to be for that middle part of the front lip and I am working on unscrewing this. And also for the one over here will be what I will be unscrewing. Okay. He's just going under and seeing where things will be. We might not even need the 3M tape after all. Okay, so we finished screwing everything from under the car. It took a minute because one of this side over here, um, like they didn't cut out the hole for it. So we had to do that ourselves. And I ended up getting a cut on my finger. Oh, that's fine. It didn't really bleed, but it does hurt. But anyways, yeah. So now we are just going to use 3m tape because as you can see it's kind of like still coming off as you can tell from there it's not really like securely in so we're gonna end up using 3m tape to just kind of push everything in and yeah update for you guys so right now we are having difficulties trying to actually put the lip on because of how it was shipped to me i should have shown you guys how it looked out of the box and how it looked when it came but i think i'm just gonna try to explain it so 
basically the box is smaller than the actual package itself so the middle front lip is was actually bent in the bottom which you can't tell when you're looking at it from the front side i'll show you guys in a bit but in the bottom it's just a little folded and bent so are the sides but the um front wise it actually looks um decent and then trying to like um put everything in so a little hard also like it came with screws but we didn't end up using the screws just because like i didn't need to actually like drill in anything like i said and yeah so we're still working on it we're still working on the side that side we kind of got oh you could barely even see it i'm sorry so this side we kind of got but like if you look closely we tried to like 3m tape this part just because it wouldn't like really hold and then as you can like see on this end you can see the 3m tape a little bit and then this part over here we had difficulties putting on all as well because this part here when they shipped it to us this part um was like shaped weird it was shaped more in rather than straight as it should be so then we had to like fix this a little bit and then here this one wouldn't really like go in all the way and no matter how like hard we push it it would just like pop back out and there is 3m tape underneath this one here and then this one you could just it has like a gap it will focus that's like a gap right here and that's barely even pushing in either if it would focus but yeah but this side this one the middle part is actually fine and then the part where i said it was folded was like right under here but since after we put it on it's like completely fine but it was just harder to push in because of that folded piece but other than that the lip actually looks pretty good um, we're gonna try to fix that other side and after that then I'll show you guys a complete overview okay, so we did end up using the blue tape to measure where we want our uh, 3m tape at and right now Adam is just prepping it with some alcohol right now so we could put the 3m tape so it will stick on better but yeah so here is the final product I guess so we're not done yet we're gonna take it out for a drive because we're gonna go to home depot and get gorilla glue and hopefully kind of like fix the gap on these ends over here so maybe we can like you know fix it just a little bit because as you can see also from the front there are gaps as well so we're gonna go get gorilla glue for that but it actually looks good not gonna lie i don't know comment down below what you think and i also link down where i got this from so you know if y'all are interested go ahead but i give this a three out of five honestly just because it took us longer to put this on than the actual exhaust so yeah after a test drive you can still see that it's very well on there and then we got the super glue um gorilla glue so we are going to use this and hopefully it works into kind of like closing off some space with the lip another update so you guys remember how i said i didn't really want to drill in anything in my car well we had to because the gorilla glue that we went and bought didn't do anything at all so we had to kind of just screw in this part so you know to kind of close off the gap as you can see and then we also added another drill on this end and also goes for the other end because i was just not having it with the gorilla glue but i mean when we did take it out for like the short test drive it did stay on pretty well but i just wanted it to be more secure as hesitant as i was to make holes in my car i had to i had no choice whatsoever but to but other than that it came out good it was just the fact that like putting it all together kind of just made it hard considering there was like no instructions or anything but i'm glad it did come with screws so yeah so i'll show you guys a tour of the whole front lip
Okay, so with that, I think we are done for now with my exterior mods because now I gotta save more money again and hopefully work on interior and buying more stuff for the car. I actually like it, I really do. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The first clip of this video started at 9 a.m. But we had things that happened and Adam and I had a little misunderstanding. We got into a little argument, fight. So it took time, it took a couple hours to cool off. And literally currently right now it is 5.48 p.m. And my camera is about to freaking die. And as you can see, it is dark out. It's starting to get dark out here already. But yeah, we finally finished it. And I'm sweating so much right now. I don't know why, but... Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and more content coming soon for you guys because we have a lot more planned and stuff. So, yeah, thank you for watching today's video. Leave a comment if you have any other ideas or anything and I'll be sure to take in any suggestions. Thanks, guys. Bye.